Hello again. Uh, right now we're going to do two simple problems and it has to do with you drawing perpendicular lines and their equations and also drawing parallel lines on a graph and then coming up with their equations as well. They can be random, they don't have to be any particular parallel lines or perpendicular lines, but they do have to be parallel, so their slopes have to be the same, and perpendicular, so they have to multiply to be negative one. Their slopes have to be multiplied to be negative one. So here we go. We'll zoom in on that so you can see it. So drawing two parallel lines in a graph and noting their equations. Well, first of all, what do parallel lines look like? Somebody? Huh? Next to each other. Okay, which way did you go? What did you do? I went like this. Like this, kind of? You want to do them like this? Like that? Sure, yeah. Okay. All right. And then this one will be something like this. Okay. There are two parallel lines, but how do you know they're parallel? Because the equation. Good. So, what's the equation of this one? Let's see. What this one, two, let's say that's three. Okay? This is 0, 3, all right? And this right down here is 0, zero negative 2. What are the equations of those lines? And let's say the slope of this is goes 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, okay? How do you know what the slope of this line is? Anybody? Yep. Uh, rise over one. Slash rise over run. Block. Good stuff. What's the rise over run for this one? Um, okay, so this is negative three over four x plus three. Okay. As Desiree originally said, this is negative. Rise over run is three. Okay. You rise three, positive three, and you run four. So it's negative because one of them is negative. So you rise three three over negative four. All right, so what's the parallel, what's a line parallel to that? With the same slope, okay? Yeah. What? Three-fourths. Negative three-quarters. Yeah, it has to be the same slope. Has to be the same slope. They're both going in that direction, they're going to be negative. Plus negative two. And minus two, yeah. Okay? So those are two parallel lines, and their equations are the same slopes, but they're different y-intercepts. Can we do a simpler one? Anybody do a simpler one? Oh. What, is the, what about two lines who have zero slope? What do they look like? Two lines with zero slope. <laughs> y equals 5 and y equals 4. Good. Y equals 5, a line like that. OK. And let's do y equals 2, for instance, because I can't <laughs> fit it. And y equals 2. For instance, I'm going to redo that one. It's a little bit crooked. Okay, but the point is that they have zero slope, and they're just y equals five, y equals two, two equations. Fair enough. Um, no m, no slope. We made it simple. We took that out of it. These were kind of it's like negative three quarters. Eh, it's complicated. You know what I mean? Well, let's just nuke the slope. Let's just have zero slope, and then boom, straight line, horizontal. Just flat, no slope, no going up, no going down, just straight line across. Any questions? Yes, Charlie. Can you consider that an equation of Yeah, line? that's still an equation. It's a simplified Isn't that a question that I don't test why you five, that'll be right. Yeah. If you're asked to do two parallel lines and you put y equals five and y equals two, you'll be fine. They're parallel. That's the main thing. Um, it's a, you have to be a little smart about it. There they are. Uh, two parallel lines, y equals 5, y equals 2, they just happen to have zero slope. They're just special cases of these. There's cases where m is zero. It makes it easier. Mr. Day? Yeah. So after you plot the points, you find the slope of each one, and then you just, like, then you just put in the y? Well, I don't know what you mean. This one? For both of them, because you found the slope, and then you just put the y coordinate, and you put it in the b slot. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you have a y-intercept, and you have the slope, then you have a line. Cool. That's, that's really what it is. That's why y equals mx plus b is so powerful. All right, so now draw two perpendicular lines and note their equations, okay? Two perpendicular lines and note their equations. So how, this is a little harder. Um, first of all, let's get a line going, period. Let me, first of all, we've got to get a line before we can get anything. So let's do a simple line. Yes? 
this a lot going down? This Let's just do a simple way. line like this, going like this. Is that fair enough? Uh -huh. Going right through there. All right. That's the line y equals and x. Then you draw y equals. Let's make it y equals two x. Okay. Yeah. And then you draw out from the middle line going out like that. Okay, we know what it looks like. Okay. And right. That's a right angle. All right, that's what it looks like, but it, asks, it also asks you to write the, equ the equations. And we know if that's y equals 2x, then how are we going to write the equation to this line if it's perpendicular? What's the slope of this line? Yeah, Emily? I have a question. Yeah. Oh, that's a no, um, Taylor, what's the slope of that line? It says right there. I mean, if y equals 2x plus b, there's no b, so what's the slope, Connor? Um, slope's 2. Slope is 2, right? Because it's the slope is always right beside the x, between the x and the equal sign. Okay? Is that okay, Bernadette? The slope is 2 with that one? So what is this line? What slope is that going to be? Because what, what do we have to know about slope of lines that are perpendicular? They have to do what? Yeah, Alexis. They multiply to equal negative one. That's right. Now, so what multiplies by two to equal negative one? Two times what equals negative one? Any ideas? Nothing. Something, Connor? Negative point five or negative, negative half. Point. That's right. That's it. So that has to be the slope of this line. We know that that's got to be m equals negative one half. Really? But we're not done yet because we still don't have an equation for this. So what do we do to get an equation for that? What do we do to get an equation for this line? Okay, we definitely have, we already have, we started with an equation of that. We know the slope of that is two. That's how we figured out that this has to be negative a half because negative half times two is equal to negative one and that's what you have to have for perpendicular lines. So, but what do we do to get an equation? It, well, it would go back to what? Y. Yeah. When in doubt, and it's, it's an equation question in doubt, Y equals MX plus B. Go, go back to that. It always is going to help you. So we're almost there. Jeez, I mean, come on, aren't we? We got Y equals MX plus B, right? What's our M? Two. Negative a half. Okay. What's our B? Yeah. What's our B? Well, you know why? Negative one half. Where does this line cross the y-axis? Zero. Zero. So do we want to even put anything else? No. We don't need to. We're done. Hello. This is the equation of y equals 2x of this line, and this is the equation of the line perpendicular to it. They both happen to go through zero, so there is no y-intercept. There is no B, and that's just fine. Fine and dandy.